And here we go. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today we're going to talk about Watsu. What's Watsu? Well, you're going to find out. I never even heard of it until 20 years ago, and I never had it until about, I don't know, five or six years ago, and it will change your life. And to talk about the benefits of Watsu and warm water aquatic therapy, please welcome a gentleman that I met many years ago at Rancho La Puerta who is my very favorite Watsu practitioner. And if you're lucky enough to live anywhere in San Diego or will visit, you can actually get a session from him. His name is Dave Toe. Please welcome him to the show. It's so wonderful to see you again. Hi, AJ. It's a pleasure to see you too and all your guests. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I had heard about what before I met you and, you know, I never heard, I've never had Watsu before going to Rancho La Puerto, but I had heard of it. Because 20 years ago, I went to culinary school at Harbin Hot Springs. Uh, it was a it was a temporary campus before my culinary school had a brick and mortar building. They rented space there. We we weren't nude like the rest of the people at Harbin, and they and people were just saying how wonderful this therapy. And they actually called it therapy. And and even though it seemed to be for the body, it really is for the body, mind, and spirit. And Absolutely. the only reason I didn't have it done in Harbin is because I'm a little bit of a prude, and I personally didn't want to be naked. And the practitioners were also naked it and you know a little bit of flopping around it just didn't appeal to me that way because you wear your bathing suit and you let me wear my bathing suit but i i would love for you to talk about what watsu is the history of it how you got involved in it and especially the wonderful work you've done with people with ptsd and how watsu has helped them well thanks again for having me on and it's great to to be here today and it's great to address your audience today um uh Halfway through my life, I was turning 40, and my prior experience uh, to this was uh, mostly in the outdoor industry. So I was an executive with uh, REI, and prior to that, I worked for the Outward Bound organization out of Bend, Oregon. So when I left REI, um, I took a one-year sabbatical, and I hired a life coach to figure out what I was going to do the second half of my life. <clears throat> And during that process, an amazing thing happened. Um, first of all, I had an assignment to go to a place called the Canyon Ranch in Tucson. And I had the benefit of staying there for a week. And I gave myself a number of touch therapies because at the time I was intuited to do something in the wellness touch therapy arena, but I had no idea what that meant. So halfway through the week, I got in a pool, 96 degree warm pool, and I had a water shiatsu watsu session. And at the end of my session, I just about jumped out of the pool. I was so energized. Uh, streaming energy was coming through my body. My body was vibrating. And I looked at the practitioner and I said, what is going on here? This is amazing. Where do you learn this? He said, well, where are you from, Dave? And I said, San Diego. He says, well, one of our better teachers are in San Diego. So within about uh, four weeks, I signed up for my first water shots to class, 50 hours. And at the end of that uh, class, it was clear that this is what I was going to move into for the second half of my life. So water shiatsu was born in Harbin Hot Springs up in Northern California. <clears throat> a gentleman by the name of Harold Dull, who was a shiatsu master, decided one day to take his students into warm water and play. That day, water, shiatsu, watsu was born. So that's where the origin began. It's a smush name. It's a smush name, water and water shiatsu. Into watsu. Yeah, nice. Now, there are many other forms of aquatic therapy like this. Uh, water dance is one where we take you underwater with nose clips and swish you around in three-dimensional forms to create space in the body cavity. There's another modality called healing dance, which are softer moves that are heart-centered and solar plexus-centered as well. Um, so a number of therapists have gone to create additional modalities that have started on the base, which is Watsu, water shiatsu. Um, it's it's life-changing. I, I hope that people will, will try it. And it's not as widely known as other forms of therapy. And I guess maybe because you got to have a pool, right? Well, you got to have a pool, but 
here's why Harold Dahl was not a sharp businessman. He's 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 passed away now, and the problem is he never had a, a strong marketing uh, program behind the brand. So there was never any intention to take the brand and move it out to the world so it was more recognized, like CrossFit or other uh, modalities. Um, it is, I believe, one of the most important complementary alternative therapies emerging on the market today, and it has tremendous benefits as well. Um, when I started my practice, I did build a pool in my backyard. It was up on the border of Oceanside and Carlsbad by the lagoon. And this is about when we met um, quite some time ago. We met at the ranch. And then I remember I did a couple fundraisers up in Hollywood. And I remember you and Tim came to one of the fundraisers we did. Yeah. That was fantastic. Oh, I wish you could get it everywhere, but I don't think you can. Is there like a directory of everywhere Watsu is offered, at least in the United States? What you can do is uh, your guests can go to Watsu, W-A-T-S-U dot com. And if you go to Watsu dot com, on the very top of the page, it'll say practitioners. You click on practitioners. There are 22,000 practitioners in the world. Wow. Press on the country. You can press on the state in the United States, and you can see a list of all the uh, certified practitioners, including myself. I'll be on the California registry, and all of our contact information is on that website. That's our credentialing agent for all of the individuals who are associated with the Worldwide Aquatic Bodywork Association. Wow, I'm on the California site. Oh my goodness, there was somebody in La Quinta and I used to live near there. That's <laughs> too bad. Oh, Los Angeles, uh, Huntington Beach, Georgetown, Calistoga, Burbank, Brea, Berkeley, Atascadero, Aptos, nothing near, I don't think there's anything near me now. It's, I'm, I'm near Sacramento. Not, not at this time, yeah. Yeah, oh wow. I don't see you on it, though, for San Diego. Or oh, maybe I have to go to the next page, maybe. I uh, just go. To, you'll see Dave Tao under California. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Practitioners. <clears throat> so back at that time, AJ, uh, I was seeing a lot of uh, clients working six days a week in my pool. The word got out. And uh, one of my clients' son came back from Iraq. He was 23 years old. And she gave me a call one night. And she was in tears and she said, Dave, I don't know what to do. My son is suicidal. I'm scared to death. And I said, well, bring him over the next morning. And so she brought him over and I put him in the water. And for all your folks watching, the water temperature is 96 degrees. 96 degrees is your skin temperature. Your skin is your largest organ in your body. In about 20 minutes, you go into a mildly induced altered state. And as that happens, your outer layer begins to let go. The muscle tissues and all the extremities start to have some space to move in your body. That's one of the amazing effects. So this gentleman worked with me for about four weeks and some amazing things happened. First of all, after four weeks, he woke up. His yellow eyes turned to white. Um, he started to reduce himself off of his medications. He came back into his body and started to feel again. And as that happened, I had a lightning bolt hit my head. And my intuition said, what if you offer this to more vets? And so during that period for the next two years, I started talking to my friends. What do you think? And in 2010, um, we incorporated and formed the nonprofit Wave Academy. Since then, Wave Academy has been rebranded to HealingWaveAquatics.org. So during that time, we started working with veterans with PTSD because we started to see incredible results. But the one thing we were missing was some evidence-based science. And everybody who's out there and you're with your guests watching today will know that if you are uh, applying for different grants or asking donors for money, um, you're going to need to have some evidence that what you're doing is working. And so I had a really good friend who was a graduate of Johns Hopkins University, and she helped coordinate the very first evidence-based study for Watsu and how it diminishes post-traumatic stress. 
So after the evaluation study, we got a 28% reduction in post-traumatic stress, which as most of your viewers will know, anything with a double digit is extremely good. So now we had some evidence in hand and we could start to go out to different uh, entities to start to apply for grants as we started up um, with uh, Healing Wave Aquatics. Now I could go on the benefits for the normal person coming into the pool. Uh, the first time, the first thing you're going to experience is it helps reset your nervous system. And really important today, um, everybody since COVID is very hyper vigilant. A lot of people are stressed out or burned out. Watsu water shiatsu helps reset the nervous system. It promotes improved sleep patterns. It eases neck pains, back pains, uh, hips, arthritis, uh, fibromyalgia, um, and other chronic pains and disease. It also helps with mood disorders, anxiety, trauma, depression. Um, and for those with spinal cord injuries, uh, brain injuries due to trauma, it's also really good for that as well. So there's a number of um, conditions that are improved. Now, I'll say this on the side, my favorite clients to work on are moms in their third trimester. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about all you moms out there. If you could have been floated in a non-gravity pool, 96 degrees for the last trimester, how wonderful would that have been? So what happens is the moms get to relax in the water off gravity, and the babies get really, really um, excited in the womb. So as I work on the moms in their third trimester, uh, the, the baby says to get interactive, we would do high fives and high fives with the feet. And I would talk to little babies. And then oftentimes when they're born, they came back, they would remember my voice, which was which was wonderful. Was my best experiences. Um, during that period, um, I worked for the Golden Door Spa in Escondido, which, as you know, works with very high profile clients. And I uh, had the pleasure to work on a number of important people. And one of the things I learned doing that was a lot of these important people have a lot of stress. And so a number of these people became private clients for me as well. At the same time, I had heard at the Rancho La Porte was looking for somebody to start the Watsu program. So I went down the ranch. And they gave me the opportunity to coordinate and manage the Watsu program. And after 12 years, I probably hired 15 to 17 different Watsu practitioners um, that I helped guide through the program at the Rancho La Porte for 12 years. During that time, it was one of the most successful uh, spa treatments that the ranch has ever had down there. It was very successful. And as you remember, we were definitely mostly sold out when guests would go down there. So any of you going to the ranch um, in the future, always think ahead and book your sessions ahead of time because oftentimes um, when there's 150, 180 guests, there's only 20 to 25 sessions available for the week during the ranch. And um, if you're in San Diego and you're coming through here, uh, the, non the nonprofit that I founded, healingwavesaquatic.org, we offer private sessions in our new prominent form flagship facility that's here in San Diego. We just opened up in July. This has been a labor of love for me for many years. And I also work there as a practitioner now in the water, working on vets and private sessions. I'm curious because, you know, you're, you're, I've never seen you with your clothes on. No, <laughs> I'm, always you in the, on. <laughs> I'm always seeing you in the pool and you're an extremely fit individual. And I'm curious to what you do. It's like you, it, it seems like it's like a workout, you know, and you must burn thousands of calories being in the water all day. When I'm in the water, AJ, absolutely. All of us who work in the water, we do a whole routine of self-care. Um, I will have my green drink. I will have my electrolytes. I'll have different containers next to the pool and I'll be hydrating throughout the session as well. And the dynamics of the session and the movements, 
sometimes are, yes, it does create a workout for us. So many of us who work in the water um, are, in, are in pretty good shape. However, it's not necessary to be in perfect shape to do this work at all. I think you might have a clip of me doing what? Yeah. Here. Okay. Let me play it. Now, this is this the one with Healing Waves Aquatics on Fox News or is the other one? Uh, there's the other one. Yes. Impact of Healing. Yes. Okay. So let me share my screen. Hold on. Just takes a moment. I'm, and this I'm was show... taken about 10 years ago, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show you guys show you the movements above water and below water. Watsu. Let's see. Are you seeing like what looks like a YouTube thing? I am. Okay, good. So let me just uh, get that playing. Now this is our uh, this is our facility. The dream of having a facility really started with a founder. I remember sitting down around the table with about three other people, and we talked about our big ideas, and we talked about this place, and we talked about it almost just like this. What's really exciting for us is that we'll be able to double our client base. Uh, we hope that in the future we'll also be able to expand our program to include first responders, uh, the healthcare workers, and other individuals dealing with trauma. Elizabeth talked about how we just opened the first Watsu inspired water therapy for trauma center in the nation. I said, no, that, that can't be right. That's, there's just no way that can be right. And then you Google it enough and you find out that, yeah, we kind of are. Now there's lots of different flavors of what is accomplished here, but nobody does what we do. And we're all very proud of that. Having this housed in San Diego is going to not only be a benefit for the San Diego community, it will also allow us to look at partnerships with the research community here in San Diego, who will help us long-term in looking at what kind of evidence-based research we can be doing to show the benefits of aquatic therapy for mental health. All the hard work in my mind has been done already by this hardworking staff and our board by making what was just a pipe dream not only two and a half years ago a reality. And now we can move on to really getting it out there and, and getting it done. I'm, I'm so excited. We're so grateful for the support from our donors, our grantors, our community partners, and our sponsors for making this flagship facility a reality for Healing Wave Aquatics. I'd like to provide a very special and heartfelt thank you to all of our supporters of Healing Wave Aquatics, all of our donors, our volunteers, our staff. We wouldn't be here without you, and we look forward to moving in a great direction with you here very soon. Thank you. Dave, should I play the other clip now since it looks like it's moving? The other clip wants to come up. So the Aquatic Therapy Center is opening up treating veterans and they're doing it for free. Heather Lake is live in Marina with all the details. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, you guys. This is really, really cool. So San Diego is really leading the way when it comes to alternative treatments and therapies for our veterans. Grand opening today of Healing Wave Aquatics. Take a look at the center. So really cool. And Elise Baker is going to explain a little bit more about what's happening here. So we have our veteran in the pool. Um, talk about who's here first, and then we'll talk about what's going on with his body. Definitely. So this is our founder, Dave Tao. He founded Healing Wave Aquatics 11 years ago as a way to help veterans with post-traumatic stress with this kind of aquatic therapy that really wasn't broadly um, given to this kind of this population. And in the water with him is our wellness specialist and program manager, Mateo Montel, who started as a client of the program and actually wanted to support us so much that he now runs our program. Yeah, this is helping veterans with post-traumatic stress, which we know is ongoing. We see our veterans, they need help sometimes. The regular, normal, or conventional, we like to call it, help isn't always the one thing that's going to help our veterans. So let's talk about what's happening here. I think a lot of people have maybe heard of a float tank, mm -hmm. but this is very different. He has something on his knees too. What is that? So he has floats on his knees so that he doesn't have to worry about going in the water or falling back or anything like that. What's happening is that the pool is 96 degrees. That's the same temperature as our skin. 
So what he's feeling right now is he feels like he's listless in space. Wow. And veterans, they come in, they have a lot of anxiety, their bodies and their brains are really compressed. And this is kind of a modality that you can help them expand and stretch that you just can't do in a facility that doesn't, that has gravity. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, you need to use the warm water to be able to stretch these muscles, stretch their mind. And after about 20 minutes of our one hour sessions, the veterans breathing slows, their heartbeat slows, and they really get acclimated to the space. And so that last 40 minutes is really where this good work is happening, where they're getting to release either trauma, feelings of anxiety, or just feelings in the pain in the body, because we have a lot of veterans that also have physical disabilities. They look so nice. The movements, that are, oh, does anyone ever fall asleep doing this kind of session? I would imagine it's just so relaxing. Yeah, our veterans, they oftentimes fall asleep. They have a lot of, you know, anxiety and stress, and it can kind of be one of the only times that they can let go and just be. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a lot in our poolside notes, which clients fill out at the end of every session. We have a lot that say, you know, I have 23 hours of stress a day, and this is the one hour a day that I don't feel that stress. Yeah. So it's kind of making a very large impact in these veterans' lives wow. in their weekly sessions. There have been a lot of studies. I was just talking to the founder here. He said there's work done with John Hopkins where they're starting to see this is an actual therapy that is very helpful. And you're getting 28% uh, you know, coming out of here is knowing that this is something that is relieving of their post-traumatic stress, which is huge. Um, when we talk about this, I obviously know that some of the integrative health can be a little bit more expensive. So you guys have some help for our veterans. Yeah, our veteran program is no cost to low to moderate income veterans. They just have to prove proof of service, proof of PTS, and under the 80% area median income for San Diego, which is quite a large open barrier. Yeah. Um, and then this is one that our veteran clients would probably not be able to afford if they had to seek it out themselves. So we're really getting them into a different modality that is something that they deserve and should get. Yeah, no matter 11, 11 years in the making for this facility, you have what I can see right here, two pools and uh, lots of different therapists to help out. Out. Yeah, we were practicing out of um, private pools for the past 10 years, and we kind of definitely during COVID hit a rut there where we kind of tapped out on the amount of clients that we could serve. Mm -hmm. So they, we decided to make the big push and make our facility, which will double our veteran impact and allow us to expand to other populations as well as open our sessions to the public. Yeah like a massage in the water, but it's so beautiful. And the float techniques that he's using are absolutely gorgeous. And it's just really cool to see this. And anything that will help our veterans, obviously, is great to have, especially here in San Diego with our big veteran community. So happy Veterans Day to all of you out there. If you wanted to get more information on what's going on here, it is Healing Wave Aquatics, and it's on fox5sandiego.com. Just click on the scene on tab. I will say after being outside, um, Christina and Rebel for a very cold morning, it is so nice in here, 96 degrees in the water. Wow. And I would definitely jump right in and be part of this because it <laughs> looks so amazing and just so relaxing. And one of my, my first questions I said, are, do people fall asleep? You know, yeah. I definitely, between the three of us on the shift, <laughs> I'd be sleeping in there <laughs> for right. a second and trusting him for sure. I love that, <laughs> offering ways to help our veterans yeah. heal. So incredibly important. Yes. Heather, thank you. Wow, Dave, that was incredible. I didn't want to wa watch it until the show because I wanted to be able to comment live. And that that's incredible. A great piece of PR, too. Thank you. We, you know, we, uh, I've had this vision and dream for 12 years. And uh, the beautiful part of this is, is sharing your vision with your friends and your family and, and getting everybody together behind a cause. And this has been a really important cause for me. And I believe this has been one of the most important career assignments that I've chosen in my lifetime. Uh, someday when I leave the world, I can feel really good that I provided a treatment program. And we've provided over 700 treatments uh, or 700 veteran treatments uh, so far in our program. And I can sleep better knowing that we are impacting the suicide rate for sure. You know, I... I'm curious, how does a veteran uh, sign up for some of these free or lower cost treatments? So the veterans, they can go right to the website and they go right to sign up on the portal. Um, most veterans qualify. And a really cool thing that we've developed is we also recognize that the caregivers, the husband, wife, spouse of the veteran is also going through a tough time. So we also offer no cost or low cost treatment for um, those veterans and caregivers. Military veterans that make too much money or they are making a lot more than they qualify for, we provide a sliding scale for that community as well. So we'll often have a lot of active duty military come in. We'll have some of the Navy SEALs come in. 
that need some respite and some care. And so we provide that for them as well. And we just launched our community wellness sessions, which are Watsu sessions for the public. So anybody can go online to healingwaveaquatics.org, click on wellness sessions, and then you click on that you'd like to have one, then it pops up of all the practitioners and you'll see me there too. If you'd like a session for me, you just decide what time you can come in. I'll have my schedule and you can sign up and take care of it right on the spot there. Very cool. So there is a question from a live viewer. Yes. Named, hold on, I just saw it. It was about if there was any, oh, yes, it's from Karen. For those with high blood pressure, could the high water temperature be a concern? And are there any contraindications for Watsu in different individuals? So high blood pressure, if you're going to be in a hot tub, absolutely, that is a contraindication. So 96 degrees is not enough to elevate your blood pressure to a serious contraindication moment. So if you have high, high blood pressure, the temperature of the water is not going to make you sweat. It's only your skin temperature, which is 96 degrees. Other contraindications would include uh, complicated pregnancies. Uh, other contraindications would include spinal cord injuries. Um, we do work on private and veterans who have a lot of complicated wounds. And for the most part, what I can say is we, we see improvement in the body system in general. So there aren't too many contraindications. Those who have um, um, get lightheaded or dizzy um, or have vertigo, um, that may be a little bit of a contraindication if that's true for you and you have that a lot, but most people can move past vertigo in the water. We don't, we just slow the movements down. Great. Wouldn't it be cool if they had a pool at every VA hospital? Well, you know, they do have a pool and I actually worked with the executive director at the San Diego VA. Problem is, when you go out to see these activity pools, when you're seeing people doing aerobics in the pool, the pool temperature is 88 degrees, okay? We have to be in a uh, pool of 96 degrees. So the VA couldn't raise the temperature and bring it back down in 24 hours. We looked at a lot of different ways to do it and we just couldn't get there because um, the pool was too large. So these pools are very specialized. They're smaller pools so that you can move the heat up and down pretty quickly. But we do not do sessions in pools that are temperatures less than 94 degrees or higher than 98 degrees for that reason. Makes sense. Makes sense. Is there an like, can you be any age? Can children have Watsu? Can very elderly people have Watsu? Is there any contraindication with age? or medication perhaps? Uh, so first of all, age. Um, you might remember we used to do what's called family week at the ranch down at Ranch La Porte. And what we would do is we would we would book the family for an hour to come in the pool and we'd work on the adults for 15 minutes and then we'd work on the kids. The attention span for teenagers 12 and up mm, is about 12 minutes. <laughs> so it's a little bit, they get pretty squirrely, so they're a little bit more difficult to get to relax or settle down. So we don't recommend it for younger kids. It's not going to be very effective. Um, Preteens and above, definitely 14, 15, 16, that age range, perfectly fine. Wonderful for elderly. If you're experiencing arthritis, joint pains, back pains, this is really, really good therapy. It's really amazing. The other thing that I found really interesting, and I'm going to drop a name here because Richard would be okay with this. So at the ranch one year, um, my last day before I was leaving, it was the night before the last day, um, uh, Richard Dreyfus came in for a session. First session Richard's ever had. He had a wonderful session and like most people after this session, they have a hard time talking because so much is going through their head. The next morning, it was Friday, and I was leaving at noon, and it was around 9.30. I was having breakfast just after 9.30, and Richard comes running up to me and goes, 
Dave, Dave. And I said, what, Richard? He goes, I got to have another session today. <laughs> and I said, Richard, I'm leaving at noon. I said, I'm not scheduling any more sessions. He goes, no, no, no. Dave, you don't understand. I said, well, help me understand. He goes, I was up till three o'clock in the morning writing for the first time in two years. So one of the beautiful things about this treatment is it opens up all your creativity channels. People get really creative. Um, I've seen a lot of people come up with amazing ideas for books and films, uh, projects. Um, and I call that the spiritual side of this work. It's the unseen, beautiful energy that happens in the water. Um, the other thing I like to say is that when you and I came into the world, we were little babies and we were 94% water. So we are water beings in this world. As we get older and we get close to dying and death, we're about 85 to 80%. 85 to 88% water, we're out of water when we die. So when you join back into the water, there's a recognition from the whole body system that you're, you're part of a bigger picture here. Meaning, um, if you are stiff and rigid in the water, warm water, the warm water is going to help you become what? Open, fluid, flexible in an hour <laughs> it's pretty remarkable uh people have joint pains uh arthritis you're generally going to be pain free for at least 24 to 48 hours after watsu treatments um but those are some more of the benefits there's another video that you may have there that has me actually doing a watsu and a water dance session Okay, I will look. Um, I have everything you gave me, New York Times, Fox News, um, and I can look for it too uh, elsewhere. Like, I think you only you only attach to YouTubes, but okay. I'll keep I'll keep I'll keep looking. Is okay, it? Cool. Do you remember what it's called? I can maybe do a search while you're answering the next question. Um, no, because I don't know actually where it's lying right now. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, we could even uh, you know we can always uh, add the link and direct it to people. You know, there is a number of YouTube videos on Watsu and there's different practitioners, you can go out and um, Google Watsu and you'll see a lot of different practitioners and what it looks like on, on uh, YouTube for sure. Yeah, and I want people to know that they don't have to be a veteran or have a medical condition or have had trauma to enjoy Watsu, it's amazing. Yeah. So I work with a lot of folks on a weekly basis and these are, Psychotherapists, these are people, doctors, these are people that are, these are housewives, these are house husbands, these are just normal people. And they come in the water once a week to help reset the nervous system. One of my observations during and after COVID is that the amount of cognitive load happening on people's brains is much greater now than ever before. So one of the things that happens is we help reduce the cognitive load on your brain in a one hour session. So if you're feeling tense and tight and stressed out um, and you need some TLC, some nurturing, this uh, treatment is really good for that. I found a video from Rancho La Puerta that's about a minute and a half long where it says uh, you're, where you're showing it. Would that be one you'd want to That's see? it. Yeah, that's going to show you the underwater and the above water. Uh -huh. oh, I love the water dance. That's, I think, my favorite. So, so let this me will show your guests what water dance looks like. Let me play this one. I think there's a turn up on there, is there? Is that okay? Aquatic bodywork therapy, otherwise known as Watsu, water dance, and human dance, has fast become one of the most profound and most important physical therapy modalities available. Aquatic therapy consists in a series of subtle yet dynamic movements provided by a trained practitioner. In the sailing environment, the body unwinds, unfolds, and quickly arrives at a deep state of relaxation that is impossible to achieve in a land-gravity environment. 
Each session provides the receiver with a safe and tranquil environment that gives the mind, body, and spirit a pathway to relax and let go. In the space of letting go, a one-hour journey begins. Time seems to stop while the receiver's everyday stressors begin to dissolve away. Often one experiences new insights and awarenesses and a knowing that something deep and important has presented itself during the session. Those who receive a session may experience an array of feelings, shades of light, expressions of joy, and a remembering of a deeper connection to warm water, where all human life began. My invitation is that you experience the freedom, the expansion, and the profound joy that aquatic therapy can provide. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, absolutely. That is amazing. It just brings me back to the wonderful uh, sessions that we had. It's like you, the most relaxed you can be in life is after Watsu. I believe that wholeheartedly. You know, I, I've done a lot of therapies, uh, uh, complementary alternative treatment therapies in my life. And I'll tell you what, I've never found something like this ever before. Um, if I was a venture capitalist, I would be building pools in the big cities around the United States right now, because I believe this is so important and the work is so important, not just for veterans with PTSD, first responders, nurses, anybody who's going through complications or stress in the life, which is a lot of us right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, question from Jennifer, who's watching live. Could Watsu help with small fiber neuropathy? Yes. Cool. I think, I mean, because you, 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 you're, it's, it's really like uh, the most powerful pain medicine it, there is. Yes. The, the beauty of this work, um, this is the only time that you'll be in non-gravity in your life, unless you're going to go out to space. So when you're being floated and held by a practitioner in water, in warm water, it's the only time that your body's going to get a, your, your body cavity a space to open up and breathe. And in that space where you saw the underwater movements, that helps uh, everybody unlock holding patterns. We all come into the world, and especially after we've done the eight to five grind for many, many years, we have neck holding patterns, we have stiff shoulder holding patterns, we have sore back holding patterns. In gravity, there's nothing to hold on to your holding patterns except letting it go into the water. So what happens is I tell people that your body comes in like this, and by the end of the session, we're doing this. And that's impossible to do on a massage table in gravity, and it's impossible to do in another, in another type of therapy. Yeah. Did 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 Richard Dreyfus get his session? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I told him to get his trunks on and meet me at the pool in forty five oh, minutes. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> hey, did, did you ever get to uh, do it with uh, Senora Deborah while you were at Watsu? Did she ever have a treatment? Deborah had never had a treatment, and it's funny because. I first worked for Deborah at the Golden Door Spa um, almost 20 years ago. And um, she would often walk by and see it, but she never quite got in the water to have a session. And though I'm her surprised. daughter- was, I'm so was, surprised she never, never didn't want to- Oh, uh, 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 Sarah Olivia had a session? Yeah, her all of her family has had a session except her. <laughs> that is so interesting because I, you know, she it seems like that would be something she would just uh, love to have because she seems like such an adventurous person. I interviewed well, her. We have to, again, we we always respect people's choice, and a lot of people may have water trauma that they don't want to talk about, or they have other issues that they don't want to talk about, or they're not even comfortable in a bathing suit. Um, and usually, uh, situations like that, I'll let them make the decision. We don't want to push things on people if they're not ready to do it. Did, uh, did you have to like audition for Rancho, like to give Barry or other people a uh, Watsu? I did not because I had already been working for Deborah at the Golden Door. 
So it was just a quick interview. And, and when would you like to start? <laughs> Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, I've been doing the work for quite some time when I went to the ranch. And um, uh, I love the opportunity to, one of the things I'm really good at is leadership. I'm really good at being a good talent scout. So during my career at REI, when I was vice president of operations, I managed all the retail stores across the country, you know, and had literally hundreds of different managers directors um, reporting to me. And one of the things I had to learn was being a good talent scout. So when I came to the ranch, I started tapping on a number of really good practitioners in our community to become uh, practitioners at the ranch and also to become as guest practitioners as well. So we had a lot of different people come through that were extremely good. That's nice. Here's a wonderful question from Judy. Is there a site or somewhere we can go to donate to sponsor a veteran? Thank you, Judy. I was actually thinking of asking him that. Oh, Judy, thank you. That's thank you so much. Um, yes, healingwaveaquatics.org, or you can just Google Healing Wave Aquatics and you just go to the donate page. It has different ways you can donate. And yes, there is a section for donating for just a veteran. So we give veterans eight weeks of one week treatments in a row. So we find that in order for them to get that reduction of post-traumatic stress, um, they need to come in every, every week for eight weeks. Um, and so they get that full treatment by donations from beautiful people like you, Judy, and others, and by different grants that we have um, from the County of San Diego and other grants as well, private foundations. Thank you. Yeah, nice. I'll, I'll I'll find that link and I'll put it in the chat and the show notes in just a minute. That's nice. Kathy says, are you familiar with Aichi, A-I-C-H-I? Yes, that is another form of aquatic therapy. Um, it's movement. And um, if you're not familiar with it, you can also probably Google it and also find some YouTube videos of an Aichi session. Yeah, it's very subtle movements in the water. Nice. Well, water is fantastic. So many people are saying that there's just not anything near them or it's four hours away, you know, even with all the practitioners. Yeah, the most, the, the biggest problem we have for all of your viewers, and I apologize for this, is we don't have enough practitioners to go around and we don't have enough warm water pools um, in the communities to support these on an ongoing basis. So you'll generally find Watsu at uh, very nice spas. If you're in Sonoma, you know, there's a, there's a nice spa up there that has Watsu. Um, you can find uh, different Watsu programs throughout the United States at spa and fitness resorts. Not all of them have it, but many of them do now. Um, and if you're ever on a vacation to San Diego for three days or a week, um, just come and look me up and we'll get you in the water down here. Yeah. What's the name of the spa in Sonoma? Oh, oh, it's a uh, Silverado, the Silverado spa. Nice, nice. That is so cool. I'm just putting, I'm putting, I found the donation link and, and if they want it specifically for a veteran, they can just say so, or is there a different link than the one that I found on your website? Yes. So your donations are however you would like to use them. You could have a restricted donation for a veteran for eight treatments. And in the donation capture area where it says notes, um, you can uh, uh, see that that goes just for that person or, or for that program. If that doesn't come up for you, please do call the office and someone will give you a call back to talk to you specifically about your donation uh, request and how you would like it used. We always wanna make sure we're uh, meeting your needs to make sure that you're, we're taking the dollars that you're providing and, and going to the right person or cause. That's great. Here's a question. If somebody is, go. how many treatments is beneficial for someone who is not local to your center, but is willing to travel? So um, 
when people come down here for the weekends or a week, um, they may do a session every other day. I had I've had sessions or people that have come down for a three day weekend, they do a session every day. That's perfectly OK. Um, your first session will kind of knock you out for the rest of the day. It completely relaxes your nervous system. And for some people, they want to go home and take a nap and they sleep the rest of the day. So be prepared to um, uh, the first day to be able to relax and allow the nervous system to reset. Not the evening, not an evening you want to go out and dance and things like that. The next day you can resume activities. Um, uh, but it is, it is. Uh, if I could have a session every day, <laughs> I would certainly do it myself. The benefits are, are are outstanding. Good question. I'm curious, as a practitioner, do you get sessions? Like, do you got like the like hairdressers cut each other's hairs? Do you guys do each other? Yes, I had a session two weeks ago. <laughs> nice. And yes, it's it's important that we receive too. It's one of the things that part of our own um, community in the water community, um, we do our we do trades often. Um, or if I have a difficult week, I can approach one of our practitioners at our facility in San Diego and say, hey, do you have time to provide me with a session? And it's, you know, we, we help each other. That's just something we do. Yeah. If a person is looking to get certified, how would they go about it? How would they go about training? And is it usually somebody that maybe already has some interest in things like massage or body work? Yeah, that- really good question. So um, if you're going to be a professional doing this for work in the future, you need a license to touch. So that could be a doctor, that could be a physical therapist, that could be a licensed massage therapist. Most of us have a licensed massage therapist background or a PT background, which is our foundation on top of Watsu. Now, there are many people who don't have a PT background, don't have a massage background, and just want to take the classes and get their credential and play with people in the water. However, if you're looking to earn money going forward and work in a spa or a professional setting, especially in California, you'll need to get your license to touch. And if you go back to the website, watsu.com, you'll see a link for all the requirements to become a Watsu practitioner. That's very cool. Do you, do you still train people? I do not do the training, but I do do a lot of mentoring, AJ. I'm not a certified trainer. That's not a career track I chose to take. However, I have personally sponsored many individuals with scholarships to learn water shiatsu. Uh, We have also offered scholarships to some of our really beautiful veterans who have found an interest in in, in the the wanting to learn Watsu. So we provided some help for them to do that as well. Um, I love this work. Um, If if you've had a treatment before or if you're going to have treatment and you like what this is doing, um, feel free to reach out to me, email um, or find me at Healing Wave Aquatics, and I can also have a conversation with you on how to get started. That's great. Can you do Watsu on non-human animals, like like dogs that have had I've trauma? Had dogs before, and we don't use this. We don't use a similar protocol. Dogs are a little bit different, um, but uh, we do hold them in the warm water. We do move them in the warm water. And there are certain people who are now specializing in doing that for just canines as well. That is the coolest thing. I got to look into that. And is there another website for that? <laughs> you know, I don't know one specifically, but I do know it's starting. There is a movement starting for older dogs because they have the same issues that we have as we, as we get older um, with arthritis and joint pain. And this uh, therapy is showing really beneficial for those canines and canine programs that offer um, dog therapy in the water and warm water as well. Which I, 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 I had a dog that after knee surgery, it wasn't Watsu, but she like at the, at the rehab place, like there was a pool and yeah. 
and she was so lazy that what they'd have to do is they'd have to hold a treat just to get her to go back and forth and then give it to her at the end of each one. But it was really adorable. This is just so cool. Oh, you know, while I, I pulled up the website, watsu.com, and there's no one near me, but there's a few that are within an hour. So I've emailed all of them to see if any of them are doing it because it's it really is the most I mean, for people like that have any kind of anxiety, man, this is like way better than psych drugs. Let me tell you. It is, uh, you know, it's um, for those of you who especially have sleep problems and high stress um, and you are currently using medication, either med uh, prescribed or or off the counter, just know that there's other treatments out there that can be very effective. And this is one of the most effective that we've seen that has such a good um, uh, uh, impact on the body, mind, spirit. It's just, it's it's wonderful. I, I've never I've never found a therapy like this that has such an overwhelming multi-layer impact on the physiology of the body, the nervous system, um, and actually the spiritual domain as well. Yeah, yeah, that's that's so true. And there's really no side effects like there are with medication. Nope. The only side effect is you're going to get some really good sleep and you're going to feel really yummy after a session. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Well, let's see if there's any more questions from the live viewers. Everybody seems really excited about trying it. That yeah. is for sure. And oh, I wish I wish I could see you again at Rancho. I know you're just doing your center now, but like, gosh, that would be fantastic to have another session with you someday. Well, if you're coming through, AJ, on your way, a number of uh, people that go to the ranch, they come the night before, or they stay the day after in San Diego, and they generally will reach out to me and say, can you fit me in? And I will usually make space for people coming back from the ranch or going to the ranch if they're flying in and out of San Diego and they're here a day before or the day after. So if that's you in the future, um, just give me a quick email a week before. And I'll always, I'll always take care of you. You know that, AJ. Yeah, thank you. Well, you took care of Richard, so you better take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he continued with Watsu at all, you know, because it was so profound for him. Who's that? I wonder if Richard Dreyfus continued getting Watsu treatment since I it was don't so profound know. for him. I have not seen Richard since that, that day and time. Oh, yeah. it's fantastic. Well, Dave, so great catching up with you. You look great. Uh, you too, AJ. It's wonderful to see you. And I've just thoroughly enjoyed watching your videos. I was really excited to start some new green drinks last week after watching a juice uh, smoothie uh, um, interview you did last week. It totally re-inspired me and I went out and got some more books and now I'm making some more really cool green, drink, green drinks. Thank you. Nice. That's great. I'm curious. Do you ever have time to exercise when you're like in the pool all day? That That is your exercise, right? That will be my exercise, but I do get up uh, now and I'm either walking or hiking in the morning or afternoon, and I have my routine uh, to keep my body moving um, and to keep the joints and muscles stretching. So I do a stretch routine, walking, hiking routine, and I'm very mindful with my wellness and my diet. I could tell well, you look great and you're, and you're older than me. <laughs> well, that's yeah, old. getting up there aj <laughs> that's old yeah we can both get the senior discount now <laughs> oh don't say that <laughs> all right sorry take that edit edit no anyway well thanks dave so great catching up with you great to see you aj and great to see all your viewers and everybody if you have an opportunity to come to san diego uh grab uh one of the links that you're going to see and we'll set you up here in san diego Absolutely. Thank and mm -hmm. thank you, Judy, for asking about how to donate, because I, I put that in the chat in the show notes now. That was very nice of you. Thank you. All Judy. right. Terrific. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow for two fabulous shows at 11 a.m. We have Dr. Esser's prescription for health. I believe he's talking about bone health. But at 2 p.m., we have my 1400th episode with Dr. Alan Goldhammer. He's going to be interviewed by some food addiction specialists that don't necessarily believe in the plant-based diet. And he's going to be telling us the truth.